I think a lot of these places that are opening up, they don't have the knowledge to begin with, which is scary. In Alaska, we require 350 hours to become a licensed esthetician. Now, I'm an instructor, so after three years of doing aesthetics, I went on and, and accumulated more hours, more education, and tested for that. So if you're in an apprenticeship program, you have to do at least six months in 350 hours, so you spread it out a little bit thinner. But most people at the schools, they could jam it out in two and a half, three months. To be a licensed manicurist until this year, it was actually almost like a, just a sanitary test and like learning about antifungal, you know, things like that and how to deal with that. But last year they actually updated it to improve it to almost uh, Seattle standards to where you actually have to be on the floor and actually learn from a school and all that and put time in before you actually get your license. If these people have already spent 12 hours learning safety and sanitation, they should already be more than enough prepared to be able to go and work in that environment knowing what's safe and what's not. The 250 hours I'm going to assume is going to be stressing on how to perform these procedures safely. So as far as cleanliness, I don't think that'll solve the problem. When I went to school a few years back, it was priority number one. I mean, that was in the first week of training, we were learned how to properly clean our brushes, our implements, all the way down to our combs, scissors. You cleaned everything you touched. Capes were never double used. You didn't even so much as touch a towel twice without it being bleached and sanitized. Um, nowadays, not so much. The biggest issues that we run into now is untrained people. Um, you are supposed to, by the state of Alaska, be licensed esthetician to do eyelash extensions. But to do eyelash extensions, you actually need to go and get trained. And we're seeing more and more people that are one person in the salon is going and getting trained, and then they in turn are training their entire staff, who's training their friends, who's training their friends, who's training their friends. Or we're also now starting in the last couple of years to getting a lot of training off of YouTube. The problem with that is that one, they're not licensed, or if they are licensed, they're not trained. And so the kind of issues that are coming up now is people that are getting their um, lashes glued together. People that are coming in with a solid wall of glue. Unfortunately, the schools here in Anchorage, I feel like are limited with the hands-on education that we get. In our books, obviously, uh, we teach students and we learn about bacteria growth and sanitation. Those are chapters we have to pass in order to pass the written test. Um, but as far as the practical goes, yes, there are steps that we have to take during that test. But the downfall is, is that there's no one really checking up once everyone passes their tests. So you could go off, start an aesthetic job or a hairdressing job, and no one's following up to make sure you're doing things correctly.